Hi everyone. I'm Becky with Becky Selman's Art Studio. How's everybody doing? Today, I did a pour yesterday and I started videoing. My video stopped because I ran out of space on my, my phone. So, I'm going to do it again, but I'm not going to do it the same way. I've got my 22-ounce heart-shaped split cup that I'm selling on my website just in time for Valentine's Day. Um, so, it made a really cool... I poured it yesterday. I poured it like this, so I had two streams coming out. Today, I'm going to pour like this where the, the two separate streams kiss. And they're going to come together here and kiss and land into the center. And we're going to do a straight pour with a twist. Because I have my canvas on uh, my spinner. So I'm going to fill this up. I know that this is a 20 by 20. This is 22 ounces. I know I've got too much. But um, I'm not scared. I'm using mixed pour. Um, so, yeah, I've got a little glitter on it. Um, this does not crack. Love it, love it, love it. You can get it from Krista Rasmussen. You can email her at Krista8974 at gmail.com. Now, most of these colors you can find here on my website at www.beckyselmansartstudio.com. Now, I'll have I'll link all of this in the description box under this video. So, let's get started. I'm going to layer these opposite. I'm going to go down one side of these colors and I'm going to layer them up. So, I have Amsterdam titanium white. I have 24K gold. I have Pyro Red by Joe Sonia. It's a tube paint. I have Allen's. What's the name of this? Allen's Red Shimmer by Porridge Posse Paints. And you get that from Christina Welch Art. You can look that up on YouTube. Um, this is Pink Tourmaline by Deco Art Extreme Sheen. And this is just, this is just the Americana Decor Metallics in copper. In copper. And so, we're going to start, we're not going to start with white. I did that yesterday, and I have a dinosaur in the center of my lover's dance. Um, so... Today, I'm not going to start with the white, but I am going to start with the gold, and I'm going to layer, and then I'm going to come back, keep layering until my cup is full, then I'm going to come back and layer from the bottom up um, to get contrast out of both split cups, and then we're going to pour. So, and I'm going to fill it from here. So, excuse me, um, just let me get my big old tongue depressors out of my cup. That was nice. When you're not paying attention, you'll knock your stuff over. Great. That's okay. We're going to leave it. We're going to leave the mess right there. I'll clean it in a minute. So we're going to pour right in to the corner of that heart. Now I'm going to add just a tad bit of white. Just a tiny bit to lock that gold in. 
And then we're going to go with the pyro red. I hope I've got enough color. I should. I used these same colors yesterday. And these are the only, that's the, I mean, I used, I had these full eight ounces. So I'm kind of hoping I have enough paint left over. to fill these cups. Okay. So I'm gonna add some gold on top of the copper. Don't wanna add much. Add some white to lock that gold in. I'm gonna go with the pyro red again. Then we're gonna go with the Allen's red shimmer. And we're gonna go with the pink tourmaline. We're going to come back in copper. We're going to come back in with like just a tad bit of gold. I don't want a whole lot of gold because I'm going to try to puddle the gold. To get gold sales to come up. I don't ever have that big a success when I'm trying to get those lovely rich golden sails that everybody gets from pouring the the gold in a puddle i don't have that kind of success wish i did i just don't maybe i'm not thinning it down enough or I don't know. I'm not letting it thin out enough. Let me know what I can do to get those big gold cells. All right. So that's the first one. Okay. And I changed up. I didn't use the watermelon from Global Colors. I added the copper. So it was too much of a... Uh, it, it was just too much. So, so now... Y'all, this is going to be tricky. Because now I'm going backwards. I got to go right down this center. Got lots of shimmer, lots of extreme sheens, lots of metallics, 
going on in this pour. Lots of reds. Lots of lovey colors. I'm trying to pour it right down that corner. I think I'm doing all right for right now. I think I'm kind of holding my own. Uh-oh. Definitely don't want them merging until it's time. It takes a little concentration to fill this cups. I hope you're getting your Valentine's Day pours ready to go. Or if you've got commissions you're doing, I hope you're finishing up on those. And getting those taken care of and ready to get out the door to the people who bought them. Or commission them out. It's always fun. They're always stressful for me, but. I don't really do good on commissions. They always intimidate me. Y'all let me know how they feel, make y'all feel. Some people love them. Okay, so there is my uh, split cup. Um, so I've got, I'm going to set that over here. And I'm going to set these paints over here because when I spin my thing, they're just going to get knocked over. And I don't need that. And I may use some of these paints for my uh, extender. Um, grab this paper towel. I know it wasn't going to hurt anything, but. All right. Here we go. I'm going to pour this in my center. I did thin this out, too. So I'm hoping I get pretty pretties. Okay. 
let me just run my tweezers through that. Just to make sure there wasn't nothing in it. Okay. All right. So, here we go. Make sure my spinner's correct. Okay. Are you ready? Let me make sure that we're far enough down so y'all can get a good eye on this. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. If I can get a decent dismount. Oh! All right. That was a decent pour. Okay, I'm gonna do some, gonna torch it. See if I can encourage some things to happen. really liking that center there's some nice cells coming up um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my white and I'm gonna use it as an extender unfortunately I'm out of water Which is okay. I have a little bit left. 
so it'll thin it down just a tad bit. Um, it'll be thinner than the actual pour itself. So I'm just going to pour it around. Hopefully, I can get a decent outcome on this, this one, because I've got a really good disc mount in the middle, and I may do a, I may swirl that center just to make sure it stays correct. I'm just button up, making it kiss. This is your kiss pour from my kiss cup, my heart shaped cup. This is just to extend it. Just to make sure I don't lose any of these beautiful lines. Just covering my canvas. Pulling it out, just trying to wet it down. I've got a whole bunch of white over here. I'm just going to rub down the sides that I've spilt. So. I'm going to pick it up and then center the center. That way, hopefully, I don't lose that. I'm just waiting. Trying to get the... Okay, so I've got the sides pretty much wetted or covered. Okay. I'm just going to wipe the excess white off my hands just in case it decides it wants to mess up. Okay, let's give it a gentle twist, spin. Go. Might as well. 
shouldn't have set that down there anyway. I just kind of want to open that up. Let it just open itself up. Okay. And I'm going to torch it as it goes to see if I can't bring up some pretty cells. still on my stuff yep we're gonna give it another good little spin to see if we can't move it a little bit further the next thing I'm gonna buy is a bigger torch We're just giving it slow spins and we're letting it move as it wants to for right now. Okay. Obviously, I've got a lot of paint on this. Um, I am going to fix that center. Real quick. Okay, and then we'll give it a little gentle coaxing the other way. It's steadily moving. I just don't want it to come off too much. There's some areas that I really like. But I do want to kind of keep it uniformed and round. I love these feathers through here. Um, we're going to give it... Oh, Lord. I'm trying to pick it up because I don't have any handles on it. But I'm trying not to mess up the pattern too so it's almost to those corners it's looking really great um i think one or two more spins and we'll have it where we want it Um, it's just a slow process when you're trying to open up sails with a spinner. Because um, you want them to slowly open so that way they grow evenly and then they extend out. Instead of all get squished when they get pulled away to stretch. Um... I've got this corner and the rest of these corners here to finish, but I've got plenty of paint. Give it a little flick. There we go. It certainly moved then. And I'm constantly going back and forth because if you move it once way, it's going to wobble, so you want to go back and forth to get it e to open evenly. Now you can touch up your sides with the paint. The excess drippage. If you're happy, with the paint. 
honey. I really don't want to spit it out anymore because I'm going to lose some of these feathers. But I want this to come off. So, I'm in a dilemma. Um, I think I'm going to give it, I really like the way that, with that white round arch is there. You know what, I think I'm going to stop there. Um. I think I really am going to stop there. And then I'm going to bring y'all down in for a close view. But I'm going to torch it real quick. Sales trying to come up. Which is pretty awesome. Um the good the awesome thing about mix is once you kind of set it when you when you catch your drips. It sets itself unless you keep spinning it like I'm doing. Um, okay. Um, you don't really have to keep. touching it and scraping it unless you have a lot of paint on it like me and it just decides to keep coming off of it every time you spit it anyway i'm done i'm not gonna touch it i'm bringing you in for a close view now if you do use mix with your cup i highly urge you as soon as you're done pouring to put it in some cold water with some soap it will come out but it is quite rough if you don't all right so let me bring y'all down for this awesomely awesome red painting love how it just swirls around and then how that just goes wavy it goes back to purple it really looks purple there that pink tourmaline goes to red and to white And here comes our gold walking up through the center. So give me an idea what I should name this. I'm trying to get it. It's a very, it's a 20 by 20. Let me know what y'all think. 
All right, I appreciate it. Have a good one and enjoy your journey. All right. Peace.